What's up, people? I'm Shaggy, the Opinion the Eddie Hippie. Uh, today, I'm just going to talk about my top 10 Mott the Hoople songs uh, based on their studio albums only, so the studio album versions. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to talk about 10, 10 to 1. I'll talk about them, then I'll put the list on the screen at the end uh, for you visual learners, and then you tell me the ones I missed, the ones I need to check out, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, yeah, great band. Uh, how did we get here from Zappa? Um, David Bowie is the connection. Uh, one of Frank's favorite guitar players left to play with Bowie, and he even complained about it live on stage during a Yo Mama, and then David Bowie gave Moth the Hoople a song that kind of put their name on the map. Um, so anyways, yeah, these are my 10. Uh, number 10 is Thunder Buck Ram. Awesome opening track. Starts off with this almost like welcoming, almost like intro, just kind of almost kind of gentle, like, hey, come on in. I got you. This is going to be a good time. And then we drop this awesome little riff and we get like this nice riff driven rocker. It's kind of dynamic for its run. Uh, but yeah, awesome sort of like prologue before we like get dirty and gritty. Um, awesome song. Um, number nine, Ballad of Mott the Hoople. Um, this is another one where I think right off the bat, like the way the music comes in, it has this almost like, I don't know if stately is the right word, but this sort of like grand or maybe self-important storyteller vibe, kind of this gentle, welcoming, slightly country-ish, like early Elton John, 70s type. I'm going to tell you a story or I got something to say, so you better sit back and listen. And then and then Ian comes in and just delivers one of his great vocals. And he's a story about Moth the Hoople. He name drops the band, references his always present shades. It, it's an awesome little gentle ballady song. It's a ballad. It's in the title. It literally says ballad. Uh, but I like it because it's, it's the Ian Hunter and like in a hammock. Like, it's just so comfortable and cozy, but at the same time, it's got that charisma <clears throat> and that draw. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of stuff for my... I'm losing my voice in real time right here. <clears throat> Number eight. Hope I can finish with this. Number eight is The Moon Upstairs. Kind of their take on a deep purple track. Some nice organ work. Uh, pretty much... Could be a Deep Purple track. I mean, it's got that same sort of highway star drive. I think the thing that it's lacking is like the song itself is strong enough to be a Deep Purple song, but maybe the thing that Mott the Hoople was lacking, that why they didn't become Deep Purple, is like they don't have that, either that Richie Blackmore or that Lord sort of like super indulgent, I'm just going to like throw it all out there type vibe um, that I, I don't think... Mick Ralphs has or their organist has. Um, you know, they're definitely a little more playing for the purpose of the song instead of for the purpose of showing off. Um, but The Moon Upstairs is an awesome, awesome Deep Purple-esque rocker, man. Really good. Um, number seven is Hanaluchi Boogie. That guitar melody, boo doo 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 I can't do anything to sing. But uh, that guitar melody, all the little, just little melodic pockets throughout the song, it really is like, this album's or Moth the that album's version of all the young dudes, just with the guitar hook, just like that hunter sort of delivery in the verses. Just a really neat, comforting pop song that's just absolutely wonderful. Uh number six, I'm a Cadillac slash El Camino Doloroso. Um kind of a two-part song, really. It probably could be two tracks. It's a really nice sort of rocker in the beginning that has this awesome guitar lick in the beginning which is kind of why it's here immediately it's and it's just this really nice comfortable rocker for like three and a half minutes and then it's got this like four and a half minute coda that kind of gently builds it's like this instrumental thing the el doloroso that el camino doloroso part it's kind of this nicely gently building slightly proggy thing um yeah really like it kind of the campaign kind of the Mott, another Mott song where on the previous album they had Ready for Love into a song. Then this one, they have a, this rocker into a song. Uh, works well. Really like this one. Uh, number six. Um, number five, I Wish I Was Your Mother. Um, this is where he, uh, Hunter plays a little, does a little Bob Dylan. There's some definite Dylan-isms in this quirky. It's almost like early Prince weird gender sexuality stuff, slightly, uh, with like a Dylan-esque take on it. Um, yeah, Hunter, 
such an awesome role that he played in the rock world. Um, number four, Death May Be Your Santa Claus. Uh, <clears throat> just for the first 30, what, five, 36 seconds alone, when that sort of just weird little beat is being established before they like really drop into the song, that first 35, 36 seconds alone is enough to put this on this list. It's the rest of the song that gets it up to number four. Uh, just an absolute awesome driving opening song. Um, <clears throat> number three, Alice. Um, another just awesomely indulgent Hunter song. Starts off with that awesome little bass intro. I think it's a bass that's doing it. Then we drop into the song and Hunter's immediately in storytelling mode. Alice is a girl working in the oldest profession known to, known to humans, trying to make a living. He's trying to help her out. It's just... It's just great. It's great storytelling, great fun, great glam, rocky type stuff. Just, ah, uh, such a, such a fun, perfect little song off the hoople. Um, number two, all the way from Memphis, the opener off Mott. Uh, just this great piano driving rock song. Again, a hunter storytelling song. Travel around looking for a lost axe. Um, just, yeah, just awesome. Almost slightly Dylan-esque, kind of in a weird way, but glam rock, Bowie, Dylan-esque, but in a very Mott the Hoople type style. Uh, my number two, All the Way from Memphis. Probably the reason I like Mott the most is because I like All the Way from Memphis so much that I keep replaying it, but then I want to listen to the whole album. Um, and then my number one, I got to give it to him. It's, it's a perfect song. Bowie kept playing it for his entire career. All the young dudes from that opening guitar line, those verses, the choruses, Hunter going off at the end and just kind of freestyling or improvising lyrics as, as the song kind of fades out. I mean, it's just the way it fades in abruptly from the song before it, which is weird when you're just listening to the song. But uh, yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good. But yeah, that's what they look like in writing my 10 favorite Mott the Hoople songs at this point in March 2024. Um, yeah. Let me know what your favorites are, which ones I miss, which ones deserve to be on this list, which ones don't deserve to be on this list. You know how those things work, people. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and go listen to Mott the Hoople because they're a great band. All right, peace. Talk to you later.